So come on up here, man. All right, guys. Oh, my God. You saved your life for five minutes. Hey, I've performed for more people in my grandmother's basement than right now, all right? God, I feel so bad for myself. You guys have a good time. You woke up. You woke up. I like it. You got a rose in your cheek. I like you. We're going to have a good time together. You guys doing all right? Make some noise. I need noise. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. go to the bathroom and take a shit. I don't care. Do something. <laughs> oh, man. Just like you said, I did just move here from New York. Well, from New York, why way of LA. But I was here like two weeks. And you guys are like fucking laid back. You are. Like in New York, everyone walks around like they have to take a shit. You know what I mean? They just run around you like <laughs> 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 go, go. You guys are cool. You guys walk around like you just took a shit. You guys are just so happy, you're like, you know what? You can hit it. I just did it. You look a little backed up, you know what I mean? Just go on over there and handle that business. I'm going here. My ass is relaxed. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, laughing, I like it. What, what, yeah, what? I mean, you just took it, you don't give a shit. That's why right, it's gone. There's no shit to give. In Europe, we got a lot of shit. Interesting fact. Did you know that no matter how clean you are, you have a half a penis sized shit in your ass. No matter how clean you are. We're sitting on a lot of shit right now. I mean, there's not that many people in here, but there's at least one pile that we can put on the floor. <laughs> Uh, are you guys watching the World Cup? Have anybody? See! See, one dude in the back. Um, this joke is going to go fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, you, like, the USA is great. We're fucking watching from home now. We suck. But we did better this year because, like, half the people on the team, I can't pronounce their last names because they're from other countries because we just kidnapped them and said, you don't fucking play for us. We're going to kill you. <laughs> but, but, like, we're terrible. We lost to Ghana, all right? Ghana. Two World Cups in a row, Ghana. We lost to a country whose main export is salmon, okay? And they beat the shit out of us, all right? Yeah. The name of that country starts off the word gonorrhea, and they were kicking gold on us, and they had a free hand sandwich with every goal. No, but we're America, all right? We're America, all right? We are, we are big boys. We're the big boy in the parking lot, all right? The park, we run the sandbox. What the fuck is going on, all right? I remember the day if you could beat us in a sport, we would blow your country up. You could make it to the next game. Win by forfeit. It's the American way. All right? Or at least arm the country right next door. Right? And then send a letter. We think your God is gay. Love Ghana. That's it. That's all. You start to spark, and we just sit back and eat our ham sandwiches and be fat. Like, we don't have to be good at sports. <laughs> but I figured out why. We figured out Google it. Once I figured out how to fucking spell the word, because it's like an 18 O to G. If there's a Z in there somewhere, I think. But like I googled it, what's the number one watch sport in America? Does anyone know this? Cool. You can yell it. You can, you can participate now. No. NASCAR! I love you. I love you that you know this fucking question and no one is like protesting about this shit. Are you kidding? NASCAR! Wait a minute. Come on. Wait a minute. Yeah, they just fucking go left. That's right. You know what I mean? So you can, our number one watch sport is when some dumbass gets in the car and drives in a circle for four hours. That's getting lost, okay? You know what I mean? Oh, that's fucking traffic! What do you mean? They don't even pump their own gas! Are you kidding me? So I go and pump my own gas and I'm more of an athlete. I want to make it a sport though, I do. Right? Alright, so we're going to stick in the car. Mm -hmm. Let's not twist it up. They all show up. Guess what today? Y'all driving in the right hand circle the whole fucking time, okay? They won't know what to do. I just sign up for this shit. No, hell no. I'm going home. Nah, but then I got a better way. Each fucking driver is going to be issued a wife. She's gonna be put in the passenger seat. Yeah, yeah. And she's gonna be the meanest bitch this side of the fucking Mississippi. Okay? <laughs> right? She's gonna be mad at this stupid ass to pull over for directions the whole time. Right? But I'm not done. I'm not, no, I'm not done. I got more. I got more. You just wait. What the fuck is your name? <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna make fun of you. I just wanna know. What's your name? What's your name? Give me. Come give me. I'll walk over to Maggie. Patty, Patty, I like my mom's name, I can't make fun of you. All right, so I'm not done, I got more, I got more. We're gonna put three kids in the back of the car. Three fucking kids, and not like regular kids, like Rosemary's Baby on crack kids, that's what I'm talking about, okay? The first kid, gonna be screaming, roll, roll, roll your ball at the top of his lungs, right? The second kid, he's gonna be throwing Cheerios. The Cheerios are gonna be made of hand grenades. 
right? If the third kid goes, he's vomiting, he's gonna vomit fire, all right? So if you can, if you can drive for four hours like that, give him the Nobel Peace Prize, all right? That's the score thing. God, it's so amazing. I don't want this on my head right now. God, you're such a lazy bastard. Look at that. Like, he's just like vomiting me so much, mad car. <sighs> Sorry, I'm upset. I need a moment. <laughs> oh, God. I just want to be happy. That, that's all that's what I want. That, is that like the goal in life? Is to be happy? No, you guys want to be angry depressed and like sit in the room in the dark and listen to shit and music. No, I want to be happy. All right? So there's like different levels of happy. Right? Some people are real complicated. Like, I want to be happy like a millionaire. Right? You try to reach that. That's hard. Other people are a little less complicated. I want to be happy like a crackhead. Right? It's right here. Like, I always wish Jake would rock all the time. <laughs> but I found my happy. I found where I want to live. I want to be happy. Like the people in the herpes commercials. Have you ever seen these commercials? No, no, don't go like this. If you've never seen them, they're so fucking. They're like, I'm going to Disneyland happy, like running on the beach. I am herpes. Yay! <laughs> they're like going like all, all these like, like Thailand and fucking like Japan and like backpacking and shit. I guess if you have herpes, you get good freaking fly on. Apparently, you fucking fly everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's like, seriously, herpes is just floating. I have herpes. It doesn't have me. Wait a minute, this is the math equation. Five, six, ten, the remainder is still herpes. You can't get rid of it like that. No, you can't. It's forever. What stays in Vegas happens in Vegas, but herpes does not. Like, you know, herpes is not on the fucking, in the airport going, bye, I'll see you next time. No, it's going to get on the plane and come home. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. But I'm saying, oh, I know that's surprising after the minute you share that came out of my mouth, but I'm <laughs> Actually, I just moved here because my girlfriend broke up with me. Wait, over text message. Oh, you No, she broke up with me, okay? No, no, she broke up with me. Do you know how shocking that is? The equivalent of, of being broken up by text message is if you're just hanging out in your living room and an elephant cock just smacks you in the face out of nowhere. It's just, oh my God, it just happened. <laughs> Holy shit. He hit me in the face, and then he hit back and went in my mouth. Oh my god, it just happened. Are you kidding me? Text message? And then you know what the text message says? You're wonderful, you're great, you're, you're smart, you're sexy, you're gonna make it in comedy, because that's why she's breaking up with me, because I'm gonna make millions of dollars and she can't handle the shit, right? But I need, she didn't really break up with me, she said, I need a break. <laughs> See, even Patty knows what the fuck that means, all right? What the hell is a break? It means you took my dick and put it on the shelf, and you went to find a new one. <laughs> oh my god, you are not a dude, you're like, Please! <laughs> 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 Bigger than the last one! <laughs> oh my god, that was me! Oh my god, that was me! That's all it means. Like, listen, it's like, if it's not big enough, Go find one that's bigger. I'll find a girl with a small vagina, okay? It's fine. We're all like little pieces these days. That's all it is. <laughs> a break. I'll break your neck. Get out of here. Like, like a break implies it's broken. Like I'm exhausted. Like a break implies something's broken, okay? I don't keep broken things. Alright? If my blender breaks, I don't keep it around with the hope that it may blend again one day. No! I throw it out. I get a shiny new blender with new buttons and big tits. That's just what I do. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to hell. It's fine. I was married once, too. That was a big fucking mistake. Jesus. But she was a liar. She lied. She farted. But not like, because you girls usually fart like roses, but like, and that's it, it smells okay. But she lied. She didn't tell me she farted. And I'm saying how I found out, okay? She sleeps under the bed. I'm I'm She's like in the bed, sleeping. I'm watching porn with the sound off for me to consider. You know, I have my lotion and my stuff, you know. And out of nowhere, I'm talking about out of nowhere, I'm just in the middle of the, of the money shop, right? And out of nowhere. And then she wakes herself up. And I'm like, what? 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 What was that? And I'm like, what was that? What was the goddamn sheet on fire? That was a goddamn earthquake. What was that? What did you eat? A small Mexican man? What was that? Oh, God. It would have never worked out anyway. She liked long walks on the beach. I like short walks to the liquor store. That's what I like. 
Flapping these sacks together. Give it up for Danny and Sagan! 